Kira team. Well, um, as you find me, I've um, I've obviously I've I've managed to save myself from dying just about. Quite hungry. Sorry about all that. Let's get some of this stuff cooking. Um, uh, yeah, I spawned in in a place I've never been before, which is you know not exactly strange, startling, or excitingly Aww. new. Um, yeah, I'm not I'm not sure where it was. Uh, Sol Solnichny. I think area is, is probably where it was. Um, managed to um, that's my fishing rod. Managed to uh, get a chicken, um, then get myself a bone knife and the various other things I needed with the bone knife, and um, made it up through the hills. Got marginally lost, I won't lie, and um, oh no, I want that in my dry bag and um, just about managed to find a water supply in this tiny little town that I am in um, just in time. Oh, I better take that off before it burns. Put that on. Um, yeah, I managed to find myself water um, just in time. I mean the water bar had just run out and as you can probably hear outside um, I managed to find... Um, is it goat? Sheep? I don't know what it's meant to be, um, but I managed to find that. And after running around and, and hitting one of them a lot with a sledgehammer, um, it died. Chevron is what they call it. I've also got a chicken in here, um, which I may as well drop on the floor and cook um, while I'm at it. Because I'll probably need another bone knife. Right, where are we? We'll take that, and we'll take that, we'll take that to my hand. No, we won't, we'll take that. And we'll uh, smoke the chicken. Right, okay, let's not cook ourselves too much. Let's make sure we have plenty of food though. So yeah, so I'm in this little town. And um, I don't know what it's called, and um, I'll, I'll find out um, before I before I post my video, and I'll um, I'll let you know. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a look around this little town. I may go out and kill this other goat if I can catch it. Um, see if they've got any anything useful. See if they've got some kind of container that I can certainly um, keep water in, um, because that would be very handy. And um, and um, then I shall um, head on. Um, I think I'm south of Krasnostav. So as we've said before about getting sick and getting pills, we know Krasnostav's good. Uh, we know the, no the northern area now quite well. Um, so we can head over that way and um, we can pick up what we need. And we can even um, call by um, NWAF if we feel a burning desire to do so. Um, yeah, so that's it. So, you know, I'm happy now. We're off to a start. We're alive. Uh, we don't have a weapon, which would be great if we could get a gun. Um, but, you know, we're in a town. We're inland. Um, we're not down by the coast. We're heading places. We've got some odds and sods and things that we can um, use to um, keep ourselves okay. We just need water. I think we're going to be good for food. And and that's it. Yeah, so that's that's not too bad. That's taken me about an hour ish of real time. An hour to um to, to get myself sorted. And and like I said it was um it was touch and go. Um, you know, don't panic and all that, but it, it, it really felt like it was like I was on the verge um for a minute. Um I'm not on the verge anymore. I've got a sharp stick for cooking outside. I've got a simple pristine rod. I think you can see that I've got um, I've got some worms for fishing, um, which I was planning on doing um, until I heard the sheep. 
Um, I've got that, I've got some random thing, and I've got some random thing of a can of tuna. Um, but um, I've got otherwise everything else I need. I'm gonna go out and find this goat thing and uh, and and see if I can kill it. And um, we'll see you soon. Go on, team. Um, I am. Where am I? I think I am in a place called Shakovka. Um, I think where I ended up finding my sort of life savior in terms of water was Stroya, uh, or whatever it's called. Um, yeah, I, I, I had a look up Staroy. Um, I had a look up uh, how far I ran and what I did and everything else and all the rest of it. And, you know, that, that's where I figured that I ended up ultimately. Um, I'm just cooking up some meat. I say some meat. It's an absolute truck ton of meat. Um, I'm never going to need meat again. Um, it was a stag. Um, I, I followed a stag. I've managed to pick myself up a trusty old sledgy because everyone loves a sledgy. An SK. Um, which is which is pretty good, and um, I picked up things like a police stab vest and, and, a, and a tactical shirt and, and some pants and a, a rucksack and odds and sods and bits and pieces. I haven't picked up like a startlingly fantastic um, array of gear, but I have got enough things. I've got some ammunition. I've got some pills, fit pills. I've got some medical supplies, some emergency food supplies. Um, bones, bone knives, and, and like I said, an awful lot of food. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cook up all of the meat that I got off the stag and um, consider how much of it I need to actually have and or eat. <laughs> um, because I've got so flippin' much of it, I mean, it's just, it's outrageous. Um, yeah, anyway, we're not going to run out of food for a while. Um, I should just carry everything and every now and again drop a bit of food. It's going to be like breadcrumbs for the dogs to find their way home. Um, yeah, it's um, it's quite mental. Anyway, such is life, you know? I, I, I heard the stag, I tracked it down, I shot it with one very good shot. Um, I'm sorry I didn't record that. And... Um, and that was that. So, you know, there you go. C'est la vie. Um, yeah, a lot of meat. So that should keep us going for a while. Um, as you do. And like I say, what I don't need and I don't eat, I'm just going to keep eating until I'm really full. Which is, you know, gluttony. But there you go. What can you do? Um, I haven't found um, I haven't found a water bottle yet. I haven't found anything to carry water in. I suppose I could take my um, fishing hook and, and go try and find a body of water and fish in it. That always occasionally turns up a cooking pot you can carry water in. Um, but yeah, that's it. So we're we're all set. We're on our way. Um, we got food. We got water. We're just we're we're looking for. Um, a couple of things. We're looking for like a hatchet and a, and a you know, a reliably good like machete or something. Um, and but we're heading. We're going to keep on heading towards Crescent Staff. Um, we just want to get up there and we want to get some pills. And once we've got some pills, um, we will um, head on over towards where our base of supplies is and try and find a radiator for um, our car while we're on the way. So that's that. We'll see you again soon. Kia team. Um, I thought I'd bring you in for this one because I am coming up on the sleepy little town of Kamensk. Um, just outside of which we um, we left our car and um, we're a little bit we're a little bit on the south side um, but I think if we make our way around here we should be able to find where we left our car if we don't fall in the water 
and um, I'm really, 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 really hoping it's still there. So uh, let's uh, let's cross all of our fingers and toes, shall we? Oh, is that it? Is that brown thing it? Is that brown thing? Is that Yolanda? Yolanda the Olga? Is that you? Is it you? To heck with her. Oh, it is you. Oh, you beauty. You are still here. Look at you, you beautiful thing. Still here. Oh, is stuff still in it? Oh, there's even stuff still in it. Amazing. Oh, I'm so happy I could poop. Right. Well, that's good news. At least we know our car's still here. So our car's still here. Hooray! <coughs> right. Let's um, let's carry on, and um, I'll go and I'll grab some tools, and um, and I'll grab my backpack. Uh, sorry, my battery, and um, spark plug. Offload some of this gear um, that I'm carrying around, like like food and such like, and um, and we'll come right back and we'll um, we'll get her loaded up and we'll get out of here, shall we? How's that sound? That sounds good, mate. Sounds good. Cure again. Um, as it happens, I um, I didn't even need to um, didn't even need to go. Um, all the way back to my base because um, when I went to the top of the what is it ski lift place um, in um, Kamensk they had um, they had a battery they had a battery and I already had a spark plug and obviously I already had a radiator so all I needed to do was come back here and um, grab a jerry can of water, which I have now done, fill up the radiator. I can then stick that in the car and put the spark plug in. And we should be good to go again. Hey, eh? how's that? And this time, maybe, well, um, we'll try not to break it. There's no way. Well, how do you add the spark plug from here? Can't seem to do that. Doesn't seem to want to let you add it. Oh, wait, what? So if you put it where? I saw an attach come up. The battery. Where's the spark plug go? Don't see where you're telling me. There it is. Spark plug. Right, let's get in this time. Right, <sighs> we're holding the handbrake. We're going to start it. We're in neutral. And we're on the way again. How about that? This time we'll take it easy. Try not to crash. Oh, well, that was felt like a bit of an effort, didn't it? For a radiator? <laughs> I mean, gosh. So, um, yeah, we got a full tank of gas. We're taking it easy this time. Um, so we'll um, we'll head back up the road to the base, and we'll um, carry on where we left off after that. Um, Marvelous effort. Oh. Oh, blimey. Driving stick again, huh? I don't drive a lot of stick in my country, you know. Anyway. Say la vie. I'm really rather in need of just getting out. Reversing, evidently, 
is a problem. So, I don't know what that's about. Um, but I will definitely take some of these parts away. <sighs> Where are you? I don't want the radiator. But I do want that. Thank you! So, anyway, that that's a bit of a a bit of a pain but i do have a car here and um what i think i'm going to do is i am going to dig up my stash and i'm going to bring it all into this building and i'm going to put it in this building temporarily because night is falling and i'm going to sort out what i'm keeping what i'm putting in the car what i'm taking and um and then it'll probably be night time and then next morning, we should probably be on our way. I'm going to see if I can get this pig. Right? Sound like fun, eh? Right, I'll get onto that, and I'll see you real soon. Cura team. Um, oh, it's been a long night. <sighs> I've spent the better part of the last two hours um, digging up my stash and, and organizing it into some kind of meaningful lot. Now... I haven't been out to the car, but, because that poses its own unique problem, um, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 100, 200, 300, 400. That's as much as I can fit in the back of the car. And there's stuff in the car. And there's stuff in my inventory. I got the pig. So, the question that I ask myself is, what do I absolutely need to take, and what do I absolutely not need to take, and how do I sort that out? Which is important. What is also important is that you have probably noticed is I'm making some noises. These noises are pain noises. Um, now, I've I've done a bit of background research on this before because obviously I spent a lot of time dying and various bits and pieces, and the pain noises are very annoying. Um, the only sickness that I am aware of that has pain noises is um, a wound infection. Um, I suspect that I would have gotten a wound infection from being cut and then using a bandage. Now, I may have inadvertently used a dis a not disinfected rag I'm not sure I certainly did get cut quite a bit and I I didn't have any kind of disinfecting compound on me not iodine or alcoholic tincture or things so I definitely wrapped up a couple of wounds um, without using a disinfectant but I'm almost certain that I used bandages and not on disinfected rags. So I don't know why I'm sick. <laughs> Secondly, um, I have done, as I have said, some research into this. And um, it is my understanding that tetracycline is supposed to cure this problem. And um, and it simply hasn't. I've, I've been through probably a stack. Of, I've been through 12 tetracyclines, probably at least. Um, in fact, I think this is the last of my tetracycline. Nine, nine tetracycline. I don't think I have any more in any of these cases, which is um, slightly concerning. Not the end of the world, but it is. It is certainly slightly concerning um, because obviously tetracycline is pretty important. So is this not going away? I, I, I did note that it said in my research that this was a permanent disease it's not it's I mean it's affecting me I can't eat and drink too much so I have to eat and drink small amounts but other than the noise which is annoying it's not it's not affecting me I don't have blurred vision I don't have any issues it just makes this kind of like noise thing which which is 
which is annoying. Um, I've um, I've inadvertently got rid of my modem. Um, so, so what's the story with that? Frankly, um, what is the story? I just don't know. Um, this 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 is gonna I mean if I'm gonna live with this character doing this grunting all the time uh, that that's gonna be hard man that's gonna be real hard um but I want to pack all this stuff into my car and um, I want to go on a little road trip and I want to find a place to set up a base and I'm going to be doing this grunting all the time is this does anyone know the answer to this um, because because this is this is annoying so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish up with the car I'm gonna finish I'm gonna cook some of this meat I'm not gonna bring it all I've got one of these containers is full of meat that's that's a lot of I've got a lot of meat so I don't I mean I can always drop it I mean I'll bring as much as I can because it's always good to have meat but I got so much meat so anyway I'm gonna sort out the car I'm gonna sort out the meat situation and I'm gonna I'm gonna really feel a bit disgruntled about the issue with this noise situation and I might I might do a little bit more research on that um, but anyway we're, we're getting there slowly but surely we are definitely getting there for a team So we're um, we're on our way. Um, I've loaded everything up. Everything I own is in the back of this car, <laughs> which is you know is what it is. So um, yeah, we're gonna um, we're gonna make our way. I think I've kind of decided down the um, down the eastern side of the map. Um, and we're gonna go right down to the bottom, hopefully, ideally. We might stop off at a few places along the way um, that I that I might want to see, um, and um, I might also stop off at a few places to see if we can get some um, body parts for um, for the car. Um, the the noises continue. Um, sort of seems to have an impact on drinking more than anything. Um, but anyway, hey ho, there you go. So, uh, yeah, so that's that. So we're going to carry on um, following this road. And um, we're going to not go too fast because that's, that's what causes us to crash. We're, we're fully laden with, with gear, so we're probably quite weighty. Um, so I'm using L2 on the brake, I don't know if you can see the foot animation there, um, to slow us down, because um, I don't want to go too fast. Um, and we're just going to, you know, ease it around, and R2 is the accelerator. And, um, yeah, because we don't want to crash. I mean, when I say I've got everything I own in the boot of this car, it's nothing precious. You know, it's, it's stuff. It's things that will make my life easier should I want to start the game again. Um, but is is essentially it, it's it's just stuff. It's not it's not anything fantastic. So it's X to shift down a gear and circle to shift up a gear. Um, yeah, anyway, so there you go. So, you know, we're on the road. And isn't this a big thing? I mean, it's a bit annoying about the whole pain thing, but we're on the road. I mean, we don't have to walk, we're just driving. 
Just driving, eh? My sort of main concern is I'm headed down to Grotevoy Pass um, because I want to see about getting some more body parts for the car. And, and my main concern is it's nearly always crawling with infected, um, especially um, the military infected who have a habit of killing me. So, um, do I do I stop and take them out before I drive through, or do I try and drive through? I think I stop. R2 is supposed to be stop engine. But all I'm doing is gunning it. Which is interesting. So I don't quite know how that's supposed to work. Um...